guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is another cold, rainy day outside. It's been like this for probably since before Camden's birthday, a week ago almost. Um, we have not had like a really beautiful, sunny, warm day in a while. So it's just April for you here in DC, honestly. Hopefully May will be a better month. It's not like we can really go do many things anyway since we're in quarantine, but it's at least we could like just enjoy some nice weather outside and I bought Camden a really really cool blow-up pool that I really want to set up in the backyard my brother sent him like this massive like four person slip and slide for his birthday so I want to set that up um, and I got him like this really cool bubble machine and just a whole bunch of really fun things to enjoy some nice weather in the backyard since we can't go anywhere but we can't even do that because it's just raining cold outside. So, um, hopefully the weather will turn around here soon. I just got ready for the day wearing some loungewear, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up this room while Quentin is still sleeping. still having his first nap, but he's probably going to wake up here any minute. Um, and I wanted to update you guys on that because he is sleeping through the night now officially. I have been working with a sleep trainer. Her name's Kim West and she's known as the sleep lady. Um, you should definitely go check her out on Instagram. She has amazing tips on there, but I have been like working one-on-one -on -one with her, um, for just like, I don't know, like a week. It really hasn't been that long. And Quentin within a matter of like a few days, I want to say sleeps through the night now. So it's been, I think this is going on his fifth or sixth night of sleeping from around 7 p.m. all the way until like 8 a.m. Um, it's incredible. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I'm getting really good uninterrupted sleep now and I just feel like a whole new woman, a whole new person. I feel like I can conquer the world. I have so much more energy. My bags are looking a little bit better, although this is a lot of concealer, so. But I'm just so happy that he's actually sleeping through the night. I honestly, you guys never thought it was gonna happen. It happened so easily. Well, no, not that easily with Camden. I mean, I did sleep train Camden, but like I did that at seven months. And ever since then, Camden has been one of the best sleepers ever, besides me. That kid can sleep through the night and he does not wake up at all ever since he was like seven months. And he's four now, in case you're new here. But Quentin, on the other hand, is my little wild child. Like he, he's so attached to me. And if he's not getting his way, he screams and cries and literally yells in your face, like looks into your eyes and yells at you so loud. <laughs> Camden never did that. So I was a little nervous that I would have like, it would be a lot harder with Quentin, which it has. Um, Quentin is 11 months now. So he's going to be a year next month. And I just finally like threw the towel in and I was like, I have to get him sleep trained. Like I cannot keep doing this. And I was, he was waking up like three times during the night to nurse, but he wasn't really nursing because he was hungry. He was nursing for the comfort and to be able to fall back asleep. And I know that's like a really bad habit to get into, but I unfortunately let myself get into that habit with him. And I wasn't even nursing him during the day. So if you haven't been catching up on my vlogs, um, Quentin would not nurse during the day. He would get so distracted. And even if, even if I brought him in a dark room, like a dark, quiet room and tried to nurse him, he wouldn't nurse for more than like one minute and he was done. So he wasn't getting any milk and I was over pumping. I'm not ashamed to say that. Like I just didn't want to pump. I hate pumping. It takes up too much time. I have two kids that I have to chase after all day and I don't have time to sit there for 30 minutes and pump throughout the day. I just, I just don't. So I decided I don't want to do that. So I started giving Quentin formula so he could get some of that nutrients in that he needed. And it just became so much more convenient and so much easier for me to just make him a bottle and give him formula because he would actually sit with me on the couch and drink the bottle and it would be just perfect. So I started doing that during the day with him. And then um, during the nighttime when he would wake up for comfort reasons, I would just nurse him real quick for just like a few minutes and he would fall back asleep. But I knew he wasn't really like actually like needing the milk because he was hungry it was just for comfort reasons so ever since i started sleep training him about a week ago i slowly stopped nursing him at night since he didn't need it um and he sleeps through the night now and he doesn't need to nurse he doesn't wake up um and if he does wake up he'll like cry maybe for like 
10 seconds and then like soothe himself back to sleep on his own which is what babies you know should do if they're sleeping through the night they should learn to self-soothe and one tip that i will give you guys is quentin needs a pacifier to self-soothe so sometimes he will and i give him those little wub nubs the ones with the little animals on them and sometimes he'll like misplace it or lose it or it'll drop out of the crib onto the floor so i've decided to put two pacifiers in his crib that way if you know something happens with one of them he can find the other one and that's been actually working perfectly so that's a little tip for you guys if your baby does need a pacifier to self-soothe them i would just put more than one in there and i like the ones with the little animals on them but that's just me i feel like it's easier for them to find at night what else oh so i am officially finished nursing so i nursed him all the way up until i would say 10 months um because once he was 10 months is when i like stopped nursing him in the daytime i think and only would do it at night i'm really proud of myself with Camden, I made it up to seven months with exclusively pumping for Camden, and then I started giving him formula up until he was a year. And now Quentin is getting formula up until a, a year, and then I'll probably switch over to cow's milk, which is what I did with Cam. So no more nursing for me. And because I'm not nursing anymore, guess who showed up? A little friend <laughs> stopped by last night to say hello, and I was not pleased with her, but she's here. I was not prepared either, you guys. I, like, completely forgot and I'm sorry if like any guys are watching this or anyone who like gets grossed out easily but if you do probably click out um because this is I'm sharing a little TMI but you know this is girl talk I completely forgot about periods because I haven't had mine in I think about 20 months so almost two years I have not had a period um and anyone who's had babies before knows that the first period that you get after having your baby is the craziest period like I don't, I'm not going to get into the details, but it's, it's, it's the period. <laughs> and I wasn't prepared. I didn't have any tampons. Well, that's a lie. Okay. I found a stash of like a few of them in the basement after looking, um, really hard for some, I found a few, but I've already pretty much almost gone all through them all. I think I have like one left. So I went to go order some on Amazon and they're not even going to be here for a few days. <laughs> um, I also went to Giant, which is my grocery store, to look for some, and they were completely out of stock. It's like toilet paper, you guys. I don't know what's going on, but everyone needs their tampons. So toilet paper, tampons, paper towels, you can't get them in the grocery stores, at least around here. So I ordered them on Amazon. They'll be here in a couple days, but until then, I'm just kind of like screwed. Um, and that is what is going on. It is like the most unfortunate time to get your period during lockdown, quarantine, like... And there's no tampons anywhere so hopefully this won't last long i can tell you i did not miss having a period at all um but you know it was funny because i like called my mom and i was like guess what and i told her i had my period and she goes oh, so could you be pregnant <laughs> i'm like no mom like i have my period so no i'm not <laughs> and she's like but now you you can get pregnant. I was like, I mean, I guess it's possible, but with me, I most likely am going to need Clomid because I don't think I ovulate on my own. So, I mean, it's technically possible, but mm, pretty unlikely. And this is the little outfit I'm wearing, which is just loungewear, cute little camo cropped tee. This is so comfortable and cute. Um, this is from, I think it's called, yeah. Mom, at least I wish a cowboy. You do? You wish you were a cowboy? You are. You're my little cowboy, honey. Um, so this tee actually came with really cute matching camo joggers. Um, and it came as a set, and it's from Lux Couture. I'll link them down below, but I actually have a coupon code for 20% off. Um, I think it's just Liza, but it might be Liza20, but I'll put that down below if you guys are interested. They have really cute lounge sets. I'm actually... Um, having a couple more come in I think next week that I will share with you guys when they get here but I think one's tie-dye and they are such such cute little sets and then these little joggers I've shared with you guys before these are from Airy, I believe I'll check if they still have them in stock and link them down below too but they are like my favorite just because they're high-waisted and they're so cute and they like make your butt look good I've shared them so many times you guys You want to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> Is that your new baby shark phone? Yeah. 
Yeah. Baby Shark sent us like a little PR package and that phone was in there and Camden is like obsessed with it. And they also sent this really cute little shark puppet. I don't know where it is, but it sings Baby Shark and you put your hands in it obviously because it's a puppet and the faster that you, that you go, the faster it sings it. And then if you use it like slowly, it sings it slowly. Kind of strange, but Quinn likes it, so. Right? Right, Mr. Blue Eyes? Yeah. You're a PJ mask in the daytime, and what are you at nighttime? Spider-Man. Spider-Man at nighttime? Yeah. Well, where's my Camden? I just made a really quick and easy snack. This is so good, you guys. If you're a cheese fan like I am, get yourself some burrata cheese. It's kind of similar to mozzarella, but it's so much better than mozzarella. But it is a soft cheese, and it comes in like these huge balls, kind of like that. Plop one in a bowl and cut up some cherry tomatoes. And then I top it off with this balsamic vinaigrette from Tesame's, which is so good. And then I dip some of these Triscuits in there. These are the cracked pepper and olive oil Triscuits. These are my favorite. Um, and then just some fresh cracked black pepper. And that's it. This is the yummiest snack ever, you guys. You have to try it. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the mascara that I just ordered that I've been using and loving lately. I asked you guys on Instagram actually to give me some recommendations and a ton of you recommended this one. I was planning to order from Sephora because they're having a sale, but when so many of you recommended this drugstore one and said it's just like a high-end one, I decided to just snag this. So, um, all right, let me show you, whoa, the primer first, which is this. It's like the base you put on before the mascara and it just like really thickens your lashes and it helps to apply the mascara. Um, so it's from Lash Paradise. It's Voluminous Lash Paradise Base by L'Oreal. I got mine on Amazon. I'll link both of these down below in case you want to check them out because for now I'm not obviously getting lash, lash extensions and although so many of y'all say that you like my eyes better without the extensions, I honestly, they're just, I love them so much. I think I'm going to get them put back on after the quarantine is done with, but I'm not going to get them as heavy. I'm going to get them more natural looking. Um, but for now I'm using mascara like the rest of the world. And, um, yeah, so I put on this base. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's kind of like, usually the primers are like white. This is like a pink one. Um, but it does the exact same thing as the white and it makes your lashes just really long and thick and full. And then you put this on after that this is just the voluminous lash paradise mascara i got the black color and so many of y'all said that this is like a dupe an affordable dupe for the Too faced better than sex which was also recommended by most of you guys that was probably the top mascara that was recommended so this is what the wand looks like it's just really thick and fluffy and honestly you guys i'm loving this mascara. So thank y'all so much for this recommendation. I'm really happy that I got the affordable one, especially since I'm not going to be wearing mascara like for that much longer. Um, but yeah, I am wearing both of these today and this is what I've been using lately and I'm loving both of them. So I'll link them down below. I wasn't going to share this um, because I literally just got it the other night. I saw Tara Henderson talk about it on her stories. Um, she's been using this to self tan and she looks so bronze and tan and like just her skin looks beautiful. So I went ahead and picked it up too. I got it from Amazon. Um, and it's just like, I think it's like an all natural, like self tanning lotion. So it comes out white. It's pretty thick when you put it on. So you have to rub it in pretty well, but it's really moisturizing. It smells really good too. And then I forgot, I got this in like a PR package a while ago, I think. And I never tried it out, but it's the Isle of Paradise self tanning water in dark. And so many like bloggers that I follow talk about this Isle of Paradise, but I think they use the lotion. Uh, but I've heard great things about the water too. So I haven't tried it yet, but I will probably do this soon. I'll let you guys know which one I like better. Okay, so these sandals just came in, you guys. I am obsessed. I know everyone and their mother has these. They're from Steve Madden. They're so cute. But oh my gosh, first of all, they are so freaking comfortable like I was a little worried they were going to be uncomfortable but you guys they're so comfortable I cannot wait to like actually be able to wear them out and please excuse my naked toenails obviously I have not had a pedicure in forever 
but I think they're adorable. They come in so many different colors. They come in like clear, which is really popular too, but I got the tan ones because I knew that I would like wear these a lot more. Um, and they just have like the little cute spike studs all over them. I love that they wrap around the ankle. Oh my gosh, they are so cute, you guys. I love, love, love these. And I actually pre-ordered these, I want to say like two months ago because they were sold out. Cam, do you want to move to North Carolina? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do in North Carolina? We're just going to live there until I want to get a new house. We're going to live there until you want to get a new house? Yeah, huh. until we say. Until you say. I see. I just realized I haven't really updated you guys on North Carolina, but we are still like 100% planning to move there. So Alex and I have both decided that we're like finished looking in this area, like we're done. We're not even going to waste our time anymore. We've looked for well over a year now and we've gone to like just so many open houses and you know nothing's available and I mean yeah it is you know we're in quarantine right now so like a lot of things aren't going up on the market that we're probably going to um, especially because it's spring but even if more things were to come on the market like in a few months like we're just done like we're done with this area so um, yeah we are currently looking in North Carolina like the Charlotte area and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say right now, but I'm excited. Excuse me, mister, can I have my phone? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I have my phone, please? Thank you. Look at all the balloons back there from Camden's birthday. <laughs> Camden, can I pop the balloons and throw them away now? No, they're all over the house, hon. Forever? But it's hard to walk with them all over the house. So my friend Jen um, sent over Camden this game. Um, it's called Osmo and it comes with like this stand. You have to have either an iPad or a Fire HD. So we have the Fire HD and it comes with this little reflector thing that you put on the camera. Um, a little like uh, pad and then you get the different games. So she got him costume party and then also this one over here which is like abc's or something um let's see yeah squiggle magic but they're like abc's you can put like the alphabet on there and this thing is so cool you guys i've never heard of osmo before but she said her little girl tegan's obsessed with it um and it's like educational and everything too so it's not just like staring at a screen this is definitely been keeping him busy and entertained while i get some things done around the house i'm about to put some dinner in the crock pot to cook for tonight. I'm going to be making like Mexican fajitas. Okay, so this is everything that I'm gonna use in the crock pot to make like the Mexican chicken. And I'm, we're just gonna eat it with some lime garlic rice on the side and some tortillas that I have in the fridge. Um, okay, so you want some corn. You can get canned corn or frozen corn. I like to use this roasted Mexican street corn. It's really good. And it also has Parmesan lime and cilantro in it. And then just get a can of black beans. I love everything spicy, you guys know that, so I'm going to be using three jalapenos, one red bell pepper, or you could use a green bell pepper, or both, sometimes I use both, um, and then this is the rice on the side, of course you want some chicken, I'm probably going to use um, like five chicken breasts, not three, because this will last us for a while, and then as for sauce, I switch it out sometimes, so I actually meant to buy this um like fajita sauce and i totally forgot so i just found this 
in my drawer. It's just an old El Paso slow cooker seasoning mix. It's Chipotle chicken. It's kind of dirty. I honestly don't know what's on this, you guys. <laughs> But it actually calls for enchilada sauce, which I don't have, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just going to use this creamy roasted jalapeno sauce. Okay, so the chicken is cooked, everything's ready to go. So now I'm just gonna take two forks and shred up the chicken while it's still in the crock pot and then wrap it up in the tortillas. So that is seriously it, you guys. This is the cilantro lime rice that I made. So easy. And then these are the fajitas. They are so, so good. It is such an easy, quick dinner. If you just wanna use your crock pot, you just throw everything in there and it is done in four hours. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and watch Little Fires Everywhere. It's such a good show on Hulu. If you need a new show recommendation, definitely check it out. It's got Reese Witherspoon in it and it is really good. Um, Alex is working out right now, so when he gets in, we're probably going to continue watching the Mayans, which is the spinoff of Sons of Anarchy. And it's really good too, also on Hulu. Mm -hmm. 